Whoa! It's got a temple! Insufficient metal. Hello and welcome to another PA Matches cast. I'm Brian Perkis and we are taking a look at Aves Cliffs mod. This is awesome. And not only is there cliffs, but there's this temple thing. This is so cool. And then let's uh, take a look at these cliffs over here. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> this is awesome. I love server mods. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Now it's going to be just be a matter of how does this mess with pathing. But <clears throat> as long as pathing handles this all fine, here we go. So as long as the, the pathing system kind of can deal with this, this is a big time um, game changing uh, uh, terrain. This is what we've been asking for for a long time. There's a... Oh, wow. This is so cool. This is so cool. Looks like Greppy might not be playing. <laughs> Something, let's look at this temple. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, okay, so let's see. Greppy, where is everybody? There's Super Omen... Oh, looks like we got a multi-planet spawn. Let's take a look at the other planets. There's another temple. There's Aves and Grep. So, Super Omen is on his own planet, and Greppy and Aves are on this same planet. So I can't wait until, uh, until we actually have... Um, a way to be able to determine who spawns on what planet so we can have one person spawn on all three different planets or whatever because right now super omen is all but guaranteed to win the game be oops wrong hotkey because he's the only one on this planet oh this this is so cool it's going to be just a matter of watching to see how it messes with gameplay. Actually, we have this wonderful feature called PIP. So let's do that and... <laughs> let's see... Where'd here we go? <laughs> this is so cool. Definitely needs some work, but definitely it's awesome. And here we go. We got some units moving around the cliffs. I want to back up and see. See how that worked. Let's speed up. Huh? That seems to be handling the pathing just fine. Cool. More metal is required. This is okay, so what else? Okay, need to stop staring at the cliffs and the ruins. But, but, but that's just so cool. A little buggy and funky, but, oh, that is so cool. So yeah, Super Omen, planet by himself. Huge advantage. Uh, but at the same time, Aves currently has the best economy. And to be fair, Grep has been is currently used to playing the Realm Balance mod, so all of his build orders and stuff are all way out of whack. Um, dum dum dum. So far, I don't know. Everything 
seems to be handling the pathing pretty. Ooh, that is a loud lady. Turn down the volume a little bit. So far, the real test is going to be how does pathing handle once we get a large arm. Whew, hiccups, excuse me. How once we get large armies. And, uh. <gasps> oh, crap, hiccups. And, uh, and then also I'm looking for. Hmm, these guys are just hopping on down the cliff. But it looks like they're all going to that one spot. So I guess that's technically considered a ramp. There's going to be need to be some some more uh, visual indication of what's a ramp and what's a cliff because if somebody sets up defenses over here, for thinking that the only way to attack is going to be over here, and then all of a sudden units come on through here, well, that's not going to be good. We used to have issues with that where it was very, and we'll actually sometimes still do have issues where it was uh, difficult to tell whether the water actually connects and whether units or um, whatchamacallit <laughs> yeah those bots are so useless I'm not a fan of bots in the current build there we go I can't use the period in the chat. That's really weird. I'll have to report that bug. Um, Let's see, pull up the bug tracker over here and report that bug. And back to the game. So, Super Omen is still uncontested, but while AE is producing the most metal, he's also wasting the most metal, so. Lose it, use it or lose it. Ooh, I was building some metal storage to deal with that. That's one of the things that I do like about the uh, current live build is the amount of storage it, um, it provides. Uh, storage is a, just a really undervalued building in my opinion. Wow, this is cool. How the ruins kind of play into the cliffs like that. This is awesome. Now I wonder how the units are going to handle firing with this with these giant lumps in the terrain. In the past, they haven't handled it too well. Well, off they go. So yeah, that that's what's going on. There's technically a ramp here. It's just uh, difficult to uh, you can't really tell that that's that's a ramp. There just needs to be some sort more of a visual indication of whether it's a ramp or a cliff. But hey, this is first pass, so it's all good. So, wow, Super Omen's also floating a lot of metal. Uh, ooh, advanced all already going up. That's surprising. Let's take a look at the other sides of the planet. Whoa. Jeez, that is one giant hill, mountain, lump, potato. Um. Well, Grep needs to expand more. And his bots are going to get absolutely trounced by all of these vehicles. Um, I really want to see some combat on some of these, uh, 
these hills Additional like that. How is the how are the units gonna interact when they start firing each other with this giant hill in between? That's what I wanna see. <laughs> Those bots, now that they move faster, the animations are almost comical. They move so fast. <laughs> Uh, those, uh, grenadiers are pretty sexy. Oh, freeze. Freeze. No. There we go. So it's happening for everyone at once. My client FPS is doing good, server FPS is good, and sim FPS is locked at 10. About par for the course. This looks pretty cool. Let's uh, hide that. Oh man, planetary annihilation looks awesome. Oh, and you see those formations in action. Man, I love the shadows. Where's the sun? There she is. Come on, guys, fight. I want to see fighting on this hill. That was sad. Uh, here we go. How is this going to work? Come on, guys, fight on the hill. There we go. Oh, wow, that's actually working out pretty fantastic. The units aren't firing until they crest the hill and actually have a direct line of sight. That is awesome. Good job, Uber. That that's fantastic. That's that's been one of the biggest problems with uh, lumpy planets. Units will think they can shoot at each other, so they'll just sit on the other side of the little humps and they'll just shoot the ground. But it seems that Uber has fixed that. Fantastic. <laughs> Man, Super Omen. This is what happens when you spawn on a planet by yourself. Ooh, I wonder if that, I hope that means we get a planet smash. That's also what I want to see. Like, if we could get a group of units up here and some units down there and get them shooting at each other, oh, that would be awesome! Uh, but we gotta be careful because Grep might die. what those white boxes are. Oh man, that looks so cool. Um, bum 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 bum. Oh <laughs> man, Grep. Grep used to be one of the top players in Planetary Annihilation, but then he took a long hiatus waiting for uh, balance to improve. And uh, as you can see, he is well out of practice. And on top of that, he is used to playing the Realm Balance mod, not the current live build. So he is very much outside of his element. Very much outside of his element. Oh, and we've got some shellers. 
Speaking of which, I can't wait until we get the new strategic icons. They are, from what I've seen, they look pretty awesome. Some more uh, cinematic action. Those grenadiers are doing some nice work. Got some decent range. Down goes the shellers. Oh, and here we go. Big clump of units coming in. Man, these terrain features are awesome. Really, oh, this is awesome. We're actually looks like we're actually getting um, structure or uh, terrain that actually alters gameplay some more. The difficulty is going to be making it so, like, look at look at how lumpy all of that is, and then look at how unlumpy it is, and that's going to be one of the biggest difficulties to overcome. Is making it so if units can't shoot at each other because there's a hill in between, we need to be able to see that there's a hill in between without having to go into cinematic mode. And short of adding contour lines into the game, not really sure how Uber is going to pull it off, but I hope they make some sort of attempt at it because... Um... <laughs> So, let's see... Not on this planet. Um, and he's pretty well established on this planet, and has a teleporter going up. Let's... No teleporter. No incoming... Fabbers. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. No, don't freeze. It's a pretty cool shot, though. Oh, my goodness. No. That's what we really need to see. Metal so let's see, let's... Let's see... All in all, this is... Um... Bum 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 bum, this is so cool! These cliffs are just... I love it. Well, uh, based on what Aves is saying, it does seem that... Uh, that fighting alongside a cliff works out pretty well. Um, no orbital transfer between units as of yet. Nothing on the... Uh, most easily smashable planet. Let's head on back to the main planet. And actually, are they? They are all on different orbits. And uh, no Halleys. Lots of umbrellas. Teleporter. Wow, with a ton of T2 units. Levelers. Slammers and vanguards. But no orbital units moving in between planets for uh, no, yeah, no orbital units moving in between planets to uh, drop teleporters as of yet. Come on. There we go. Off they go, finally. Woohoo, let's get some... Where are they going? 
Sweet, they are headed to Aves Planet. And he is pretty well entrenched. Ooh. This will be a cool shot. <laughs> ruins next to ruins. That's pretty cool. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. And zoom back out, see how things are going. Here come the orbital units as well as a lone orbital faber heading heading somewhere. Either way, this is where the action shall be. See, there goes the teleporter. Not near any cliffs. There's the uh, advanced radar satellite coming in. There's the activated teleporter. And here come the units. Unfortunately, nowhere near Ave's main base. But we might see some cliff fighting. Well, he needs, uh... He needs more anti-air vehicles in with his, uh, incoming units. There we go. Advanced, uh... Advanced air set... Or advanced satellite is heading on over towards... Towards, uh, Abe's base to get vision. And a bunch of teleporters being queued up for some reason. I guess maybe he's afraid of losing it or something? Don't know. Where's that orbital faber from Aves still heading on over? So let's uh, keep an eye on that. That is a lot of units coming through and a lot of teleporters. I don't know why he's building so many uh, teleporters. Doesn't doesn't really make sense. Also, got a very large planet-wide patrol, but as you can see here towards the bottom of the screen, the units are handling the the cliffs and even the units very well or the the ru yeah, the ruins really well. This is this is amazing. I want this mod. Okay, now it's over? Oh, the party? Why is the party now over? More men is required. Super Uman should not have done a uh, area patrol over the entire planet. He should have kept them all clumped together, otherwise uh, he's going to get his units picked off. Oh, but I see a teleporter built and a commander is heading on out, leaving the planet, and wow, that is a ton of units. Where did that, that teleport is on the main, over on uh, Super Omen, not Super Omen's planet. Oh, I totally missed that. So, uh, Aves is getting out of dodge and is probably going to try for the planet smash. That is a bold move to abandon his main planet. So with that, um, let's see, head on back over to the wrong planet. That's a lot of laser defense towers. With this... He, uh, Super Omen really needs to start building Halleys or getting lots of uh, orbital units on over to the other planet, otherwise he's going to get smashed. Hulk smash. Still don't know why he's building so many teleporters. He doesn't need them. Um, let's see, head on over back to the main planet. Wow, that is a lot of orbital units and anti-nukes. Um, let's see what Super Umin sees. 
He does have vision of this. If he's paying attention. Here we go. He does know where the main base is, but he's not grouping up all of his units. They're still on a planet-wide area patrol. Oh, wow, he's floating a decent amount of economy. All things considered, though, he's doing a pretty good job of using that much economy. Oh, Avenger battle. And, uh, oh, wow, uh, anchors putting in some real good work on the ground. Let's uh, head on back to full vision. We really need a uh, anti-orbital unit other than the Avenger. The Realm Balance mod is currently working on that. The Blue Hawk, as of now, can fire tactical missiles at the uh, the main the orbital layer. Surprised we haven't seen any Hallies queued up. I guess he's working on trying to get his uh, economy back on track first. Additional metal extractors required. Super Omen still unharassed and still has a lot of orbital stuff hanging around, not doing anything. And uh, that anchor's putting in a lot of really good work. If you're not careful, anchors will just chew your army to shreds, as you can see right here. This is just brutal. Aves is acting like he has lost this planet, but he definitely has not. If he were to put forth a concerted effort, and for whatever reason that teleporter is stuck, units are not passing through. Hmm, I wonder what's going on here. Oh, there we go. Well, the units kind of seem to handle the, the cliffs fine. They, As far as I could tell, they weren't shooting unless they have a, an actual direct line of sight. That is... Awesome. Really, really awesome. Uber, I am very impressed. Here comes another large follow-up group. I am very impressed with uh, how well this game engine is scaling to uh, handle this. Some units moving out. Those are blue. wonder where they're headed. Of course, shellers have no problem whatsoever firing over terrain features. And uh, Super Omen is not paying attention to this attack force, and they are just sitting there getting picked apart by shellers. Let's take a look at the performance. Client speed is slowing down 15 to 20 FPS. Servers holding at 1. Wow, Sim is holding at 10. I am surprised. I would have expected it to have dropped down lower by now. There we go, the attack force is finally moving forward, but it's too little, too late. They have been picked apart by those shellers. Wow, here comes a large attack force. L lots of spinners, lots of lag, mostly a lot of shellers. Oops, some uh, orbital fabbers moving forward. Putting down some uh, anchors as cover. But if they are not careful, they will come in range of this uh, uh, umbrella over here. Let's take a look at the rest of the planet and see how things are going. Not planet, system. AE's economy is still struggling, but improving. And not much going on on the main planet. 
The unit's just streaming through the teleporter to the secondary planet. Wow, very large group of units. Slowly anchor creeping forward. Got a... Going to be real difficult to see which starts firing first, the umbrella or the anchor. I'm pretty sure Uber has fixed the bug where umbrellas will fire at anchors when previously the anchors could be built just outside of the umbrella range and uh, the umbrellas can't fire at the anchors, but the anchors can fire at the uh, umbrellas. I'm pretty sure they fixed that bug. So it's going to be a matter of can the uh, fabbers build the anchors faster than the umbrellas can destroy the anchors? Even if they can't, this area is now completely shut down to AE's units. Those anchors will just chew them to shreds. And there we go. Anchors starting to fire. Umbrella is not firing yet. More metal is required. More metal is not required? I'm a spectator. And there it is. Can they? Nope. They cannot outbuild that umbrella. Which, that means the only way to take down umbrellas is on the ground or with SXX satellites. I don't know how I feel about that. I could agree with that. I could disagree with that. I don't really know. Come on, Super Omen, attack! We want to see more explosions! Either that, or sit there doing nothing and wait until you get invaded or planet smashed. There we go, Halley being built. Planet smash! Planet smash! But only being built by one Faber, really? That is a lot of units. Superwoman could steamroll AE's base right now. Um, da dum dum dum, bum 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 bum. And maybe I should learn how to play the guitar or something like that, so I can fill the space when nobody's doing anything. Blow stuff up. Come on, you know you... Whoa! Halley's being built! Oh yeah, that is awesome. Halley race. Unfortunately, though, this uh, planet requires three more Halleys than the one that uh, a Aves is on. But Aves is building so stinking slow. Super Omen could most certainly... Uh, end up building his um, Halley's first. Whoa, especially since he already has... Th that's the third one up. And especially if you were to take this giant attack force and go attack the base and start uh, hurting Abe's economy. Either way, it looks like Super Uman's going to end up winning this one. I know, we were all surprised, right? Who knew that the guy was going to spawn alone on an entire planet would win the match? Either way, I'm not complaining because we're going to get to see this match end with a plan. <gasps> no, we're not going to see this end with a planet smash. Larger planets cannot pl um, smash planets that are smaller than them. Ooh, that is going to be disappointing for Super Uman. Definitely think he deserves credit for the win. Unless he never once scouts or attempts to invade this planet. And now there's more build power being put on this Halley. Come on. Come on. Anchors are creeping forward again. Don't know why all those were being shoot were shooting over here. Superwoman really, really needs to just attack. He has a massive arm. He also has a ton of orbital units. He needs to go invade Dire Gamma. Go send all of your orbital units to over here where away from this, like all of your Avengers and all of your orbital fabbers, build a bunch of anchors, 
under the protection of the swarm of Avengers. And now you've got your foothold, and you will win. Additional metal extractors required. Mm -hmm. Advanced. The Advanced Vehicle Factory has recently had a huge health buff. Used to have 10,000 health, now it has 30,000 health. But... Aves wind conditions are severely being reduced and at this point his hope only hope is to uh, well do what he's doing planet smash there we go all of those units are heading on out to there we go now they're heading on out to Aves planet finally um, and Looks like our performance is lowering. Client FPS is down to under 15. Servers holding at 1, which is that's what it's supposed to be. I don't know why, I just know that's supposed to be at 1. Sim is dropping. We are now at 6 to 7 FPS for the Sim, and that is a bummer because that makes the gameplay take longer. But we are almost to the invasion there we go uh oh but it looks like he might be landing too close to the the base now you don't want to go right next to all the orbital stuff that you have vision on because you're under fire from the umbrellas as well as that anchor you got it better be paying attention to this or else you're gonna lose your entire attack force but that is a bunch of Avengers either way you need to start building anchors now or this entire attack force will fail. And that's all of them. Ooh, that was a that was a laser satellite that I saw. Yes, it is. Where's is this one? Yes. So let's uh keep an eye on that sucker and come on back over here. These Halley icons need to to light up. Gonna make a note of that. More and more units are streaming through. Come on, just attack. There we go. There's an attack force heading on out. And wow, remember how the still Oh, it's because it's being repaired. Okay, let's on let's head on back over to this planet. Did that? The looks like the SSX satellite was. Sh nope, there it is. Oh, it's shooting down the Halleys. <laughs> very, very nice move from Aves. Umbrella going up, but is it going to go up in time? No, it is not. <laughs> uh, looks like Super Omen might actually lose. Oh, there we go. Now there's an umbrella going up. And I can't remember what wins, umbrellas or SSX satellites. It keeps on changing every patch or so. But there, down it goes. It looks like umbrellas win. Here we go. Here's an attack moving in. That is going to put a huge damp on Aves economy. However, Aves is wasting most of his economy, so it doesn't really matter. How's the Hallies going, Aves? Still one. Do you not even have any factor? You don't have any factories on this planet. He should have built a factory and built fabricators. Look at how much economy he's floating. Those uh, Hallies could have been built by now. But now, he's losing his economy. Ooh, very nice use of the attack command. Especially with the uh, health boost to units, or uh, to uh, economy buildings and factories. That recently happened. Um, sent the health of, of, whatchamacallit, the health of all economy buildings and factories have been recently increased by three times. 
That means just taking a move command and just saying go to the other side of the base won't work. Your units will just pass by everything and probably won't blow up everything. Probably will blow up very little actually. I see orbital movement. Oh, stuff heading out from Aves. Um, so with that, you need to start using the area attack command. So the units will um, keep at range and only attack in, see as you saw, they blew up these things, then they moved a little bit forward, and then they blew up these things, and they moved a little forward, and they blew up these things, and so on and so forth. You gotta just use that area attack command more. And man, those anchors are causing a lot of damage. Except they're not hitting that ant, unfortunate. That, but that seems to happen fairly often, where something will get stuck, where whatever the unit is, anchor, commander, ant, docs, whatever, it's just standing there, shooting at whatever it is, over and over and over and over again, and it's not hitting, and as soon as you make it move an inch to the left, then it starts hitting. Rather annoying. So Superhuman is back to the Hallies, under the cover of a bunch of umbrellas. Whew, excuse me. But, if I remember correctly, it's not going to matter because those, uh, you can't smash a planet that's smaller. That's going to be an unfortunate realization. Finally starting on the second Halley. Jeez, and we're at 40 minutes in. So come on, just give us a Halley. So what else can I talk about? What else can I look at? Let's, let's head on over to the main planet. All metal extractors are claimed on the main planet for Super Omen. Nope, not all. Not all. If you control a planet, you need you need to get an area build for the entire planet with air fabbers. Oh, but he does look like he has a planet-wide area reclaim. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. And I am very surprised. He has been doing an excellent job of balancing his uh, metal income. A very excellent job indeed. I wonder how much storage he has. I don't see a large quantity of storage factor, uh, plants. That's another thing that I like to do. Storage can be incredibly helpful and is an undervalued building, in my opinion. When I control an entire planet, I'll get two sets of just like a few fabricators, like two sets of one or two sets of two, three, something small, and I will have them build a crap ton, one group build a crap ton of metal extractors, or metal storage buildings and one group build a crap ton of uh, energy storage buildings and that can really save your butt if uh, crap hits the fan or if you uh, start doing a bad job of managing your economy very very useful here we go attack force heading out one, two, three, four, five Hallies completed for Superhuman. Second, is that just the second? Second Halley still being worked on. And this is what happens as the sim speed gets slower. The game just gets slower and slower and slower. And let's see how this works. Ooh, here we go. This is what I wanted to see. Unfortunately, those units are getting picked off by anchors. And it almost seems like cliffs work just fine. However, in order for units to shoot over cliffs, you need to micro them right to the edge of uh, cliffs. Which is unfortunate, but not overly surprising. 
Let's see. How's that Halley coming? Third Halley being built. And it looks like more build power is going on to that Halley. How are the Halleys doing over here? One, two, three, four, five, six. That Halley is going to go up really quickly. But I don't think Superwoman is going to be able to Planet Smash. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Uh, Superwoman move forward, which got Aves to counterattack. So then Superwoman is falling back, and all of these units are just being chewed to shreds by these anchors. Very, very nice move by uh, Superwoman, if that was actually intentional. We'll just say it was. You rock, Superwoman. And now Aves is falling back, but not after taking tremendous losses. Both players have kind of just tossed all of their eggs in one basket, it seems. Let's just do nothing but try and build Halley's. I do see some orbital activity over here. To keep an eye on that. More metal is not required, you crazy woman. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Did that make you guys yawn? Halley is almost finished. But will he be able to smash? I don't think he will. It is built. Is it smashing? Is it smashing? It is not smashing. Bum, 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 bum. Nothing happening on the main planet. Superwoman is laughing. Yep, that's kind of what I expected. Alright, uh, so the uh, advanced radar satellite is running around trying to find Superwoman's commander which he has found. So let's look at Dire Gamma. One, two, three, three Halleys built. Go Planet Smash, go Planet Smash. Go Planet, why am I yawning? Jeez, come on. Just Planet Smash. Looks like all of the units might be heading towards the teleporter, wherever the teleporter is. Where did the teleporter go? Nope, the Fabbers are moving to assist the SSX. Oh, there's the teleporter, but the teleporter is off. The Halleys are not activated, and units are rushing to the teleporter. But the commander is not. Interesting. Umbrellas are working on that advanced laser satellite, but it doesn't matter. He has vision of the commander. Come on, planet smash, planet smash, planet smash, planet smash, planet sm Come on. Come on. Let's just see that smash. Additional metal extractors required. Additional metal extractors are not required. Looks like I've got another bug to report. Add new task. Spectators told metal energy is low. My metal is not low. I have no metal. I cannot obtain metal. Wow, that is a lot of units, and the units are now moving towards towards uh, Abe's base over here on Dire Beta. Dire Gamma is still inactive. Man, I just I cannot get over these shadows. These shadows look so 
awesome. And then the metallic shine on some of the buildings. Oh, such a great game. Good job, Uber. And good job, Aves. This, you know what, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right because I've been saying it Aves all night. Not all night, all match. 45 minutes in, come on. I said, nope. It is not 45 minutes, it is 50 minutes, but it is 43 minutes according to sim speed. And that's what happens when the sim starts to lag. The game just gets slower and slower and slower. Lots of units, including an SSX satellite, is heading on out. But if it's just one satellite, it will not be enough to destroy all of those anchors. Bum, 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 And as far as I can tell... As far as I can tell, Super Omen just isn't doing anything to uh, make moves on Aves. And see, this is the downside of having a completely abandoned this planet. If Aves had continued focusing on this planet and defending this planet and... Uh, and gaining metal extractors and power on this planet, he wouldn't have any problem smashing the main planet. Because then he would still be able to, uh, he'd still have stuffs. Let's do this, and that, and that. Large army sitting doing nothing. Is it crouching tiger, crouching army, boring Hallies? Ooh, a nuke going up. Took people long enough, but they're finally changing up their strategies, and I think those are Astraeus's loaded up with units, which would be awesome. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on. Oh my goodness, Aves could even have started building Hallies on this planet and probably smashed it by now. Doesn't really matter at this point though, because he's about to lose his base as Super Roman moves in on all sides. <laughs> I don't get why I'm yawning so much. Move in. Charge. Charge. These, wow, yeah, these, uh, these cliffs create some excellent choke points and uh, terrain features. The just terrain matters a ton more. Focusing down on that nuke, but it isn't going to matter. It'll be destroyed here. In the next little bit. Why am I yawning? I should not be yawning. Not much left of this base. And still. No orbital invasion attempted from Superhuman. I haven't even seen him building nukes or anything. He is very impressively still keeping a balanced economy despite all of these fabbers running around reclaiming. That's like the most impressive part of this match. Come on, you have a ton of orbital fabbers, you have a ton of orbital fighters, you could have had a lot more if you'd focused down on it. Could have had SSX satellites, or Sizzix as somebody calls it. What's in these? 
I can, oh, Fabbers. I'm gonna try a teleporter, maybe. And now I'm going to speed up the game for the next few minutes so we can hurry up and get to the end and uh, a a Aves was trying to Planet Smash earlier but ran into some it didn't go for some reason but as you can see in the bottom left right here it comes and wait for it there it is here comes the Planet Smash great way to end Super Omen didn't make it off planet, while Aves did make it off the planet, and boom, there goes Super Omen. So, let me know what you think. I love these these uh, experimental mods, and please, let me know what you think of these cliff mods, this cliff mod, and uh, drop me a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you next time.